This production is brought to you by the University of Edinburgh. Once again, the Edinburgh International Book Festival played host to this year's James Tate Black Memorial Prizes, whose 90th anniversary is celebrated this year, and distinguished figures from the world of literature were invited to celebrate the occasion. The prizes are awarded annually by English Literature at the University of Edinburgh for the best work of fiction and the best biography published during the previous 12 months. They're the only major British book awards judged by scholars and students. They were founded in 1919 by Janet Coates, the widow of publisher James Tate Black. The part of the history that interests me, apart from the fact that it's founded by a woman so that the UK's oldest literary prize is a woman's invention, I like that. The part that interests me is that when she died in 1935, the university then took over the administration of the prize. So, yes, it is the UK's oldest prize, but it's also unique in that it's entirely administered by a university. And I don't think there is another one like that. The winner of this year's fiction prize is Irish writer Sebastian Barry for his much-praised novel The Secret Scripture. He was asked to sum up what makes the prize as special. This is exceptionally benign because it, it's given for writers, for writing, which is a very private thing that you do and a very private thing you do when you read it. And there's that quality that that's been met, the privacy. It's a sort of award to recognise the quality of that privacy. And that is wonderful and that is rare. And I don't think there's another prize like it because it is a world, all books in English in the world. He's joined by the biography winner Michael Holroyd for his book on 19th century Shakespearean actors, A Strange Eventful History, The Dramatic Lives of Ellen Terry, Henry Irving and Their Remarkable Families. Michael Holroyd agrees that the award is very special. It's unique. Um, it's um, never been dumbed down uh, in modern times at all. It has an extremely uh, distinguished list of winners. Uh, early winners include Lytton Strachey, about whom I wrote a biography, uh, and also my wife, Margaret Drabble, on the fiction side, won it in 1967 for Jerusalem the Gold in her novel. So I'm um, in good company, rather far back. Um, but it's a prize that is most valued by writers themselves. This year's winners joined the ranks of literary giants such as D.H. Lawrence, E.M. Forster and Graham Greene in winning the James Tate Black Memorial Prizes, Britain's oldest literary awards. This production is copyright, the University of Edinburgh.